We have a legend in our midst who played for one of the greatest sporting teams the universe has ever known. I'm one of the best players to ever play the game. In basketball's golden era, the 1990s, small forward Scottie Pippen played 17 seasons in the NBA. Pippen on the switch. Pippen goes all the way in to tie it up with a beautiful move by Scottie. Pippen with a dunk at the other end. Winning six championships with the Chicago Bulls alongside Michael Jordan. I would never be able to find a tandem, another support system, another partner in the game of basketball like Scottie Pippen. He was a pleasure to play with. What a show the Bulls are putting out here. He helped me so much in, in the way that I approached the game, the way I played the game. Whenever they speak Michael Jordan, they should speak Scottie Pippen. A seven-time NBA All-Star and the only player to win an NBA title and Olympic gold in the same year, twice. I can't, I can't even talk. No, I know. We are so, so excited. Have... Scotty Pippen! Round of applause! Oh, live and exclusive! Oh, my goodness. He's have, here in the flesh. You haven't aged the day. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> what is your secret? Not on the court anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stress, right, on the court. Yeah. Uh, it's great to have you here. Um, you look, the, the, the list of achievements um, mm. are long yeah. um, and difficult to zero in on, on, on one particular in such a short time with you, but what is the standout for you? What, what was the moment where you go, oh, that was enough for me? Uh, meaning my retirement? I think <laughs> just um, knowing that you didn't have that same... I guess a nucleus around you to get you back to the championship, and I, I guess it, you, your body starts to tell you at some point that you you can't put out the same uh, energy and effort that you once did. And when you lose that kind of uh, a bit of passion for the game, then it's time to step aside and let someone else step in. I mean, but Scotty, you made history, right? I mean, the two Olympic gold dream team, the six NBA championships. Like, there must have been a time for you when you kind of sat back and went, "Wow, have I actually achieved all of this?" Yeah, I mean, I think it was more so after I retired that I had a, a real good moment to kind of collect my whole career, not just from a professional standpoint, but, you know, when I started as a kid, uh, basketball has been a, a journey for me. Mm. And to be able to uh, go through it and kind of live your, your dream out, uh, it was pretty special. Yeah, it's and, hard to believe it wasn't so easy for you in those early days. No, nah, it, it wasn't. But I think that's anything in life that if it's come easy for you, then it's not worth trying. And uh, as you know, basketball didn't come that easy for me. I worked very hard to uh, get a scholarship. And after that, I had to continue to work to improve, impress a lot of GMs about my style of play mm. uh, and how I could be an impact uh, in the world's greatest game and I was yeah. able to do that. Do you know um, I lived and breathed the Chicago oh, Bulls who didn't? Um, in real time, <laughs> right? And then um, the last dance brought it all back. Um, what was it like for you mm. to watch that incredible documentary series? I thought it was special. I thought it was a special moment for us to really relive uh, some of the greatest time uh, in basketball history and more so uh, have an opportunity to see what team basketball was like. And I think during the pandemic, everyone sitting home, <laughs> uh, it was more like an educational tool to let people see uh, how great the game can be if it's played the right way. And if they're sharing of the basketball, uh, there's uh, unlimited things that you can achieve uh, in a game of basketball. And we were able to win six titles um, mm. over a decade, and uh, that's a pretty high accomplishment. Mm -hmm. People hate comparisons, and, and especially over different eras. Um, but from where you were standing and playing, was Michael the best or the greatest ever? Oh, uh, for sure. I mean, you look at the MVPs that he uh, was able to achieve, but I think it was all brought from us being successful as a team. Obviously, someone is going to bring those accolades home. But, uh, yeah, he was the greatest player, definitely, in basketball. I started getting so upset when they started kind of leaving you out during that doco series because mm -hmm. you always came across to me as a, just a hardworking dude, um, immensely talented, but, but just so affable. Uh, and when the management started messing around, it was, like, awful. Yeah, it, it was to some degree. But I think at that point they were sort of ready to move on from that 
group nucleus of players. And I think as professionals, we've we've seen that happen year in and year out, where you know owners uh, decide to go in a different direction. And as a player, uh, you you're prepared for it. Mm. Guys get traded every day, so uh, it was kind of tough for us to have to leave that championship uh, nucleus, but. Uh, we, we had to pick up and move on. Well, among the champions you played with was, of course, Aussie Luke Longley, the big man. Yes, yeah. Luke was a great contributor for us uh, in our second three-peat. And, uh, you know, he's uh, still a very close friend of mine. And he's the one, really, who's uh, invited <laughs> me here. And that's why I'm in Australia. He's a no-nonsense sort of guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, we've had Shaquille um, uh, O'Neal out here as well. Um, and... <laughs> You know, he's. I saw this great interview that you did with him where you were talking about um, people in the crowd that would distract you, uh, yeah. potentially. Um, but I was distracted by um, the shark when he came to Australia. I just want you to have a look at this. Whoa. <laughs> just wait for this, Scotty. You ready? Have you ever done this again? Oh, no. <laughs> look at this. Oh, 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 oh! Carlos! <laughs> I never seen that. I was so uh, I didn't know what y'all was about to get into there. <laughs> well, he, never, he never did that, you know. No, playing, no, though. I didn't know if that was made for TV right there for a moment. No, no, it was sexy stuff. Uh, yeah. Scotty, this stuff happens in Australia. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You gotta be careful out there. Yeah. Um, look, at the speaking tour is gonna be awesome. Um, we, we could add all day yeah, with you, right? I've never seen that. Sarah sit uh, so forward in her chair when She's Scotty beautiful. Pippen came in. Oh, I'm very <laughs> excited. I've been saying it all morning. Scotty Pippen's in the house. Can you I know we it? are. Like we it's... both are. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations on, on, a, on a wonderful uh, career. We can't wait to see you in mm. person for this speaking tour, and uh, it's, it's good to see you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for so having much. You want to. No, Carl. Uh, no. no, we don't need to do it on TV. Maybe when the camera's off. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's entertaining it. All right. Thanks, we'll Scotty. Get a camera Great on to that. See you, <laughs> Great to see you. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?